If you're looking for a classic hotel to stay in that isn't like all the other chains, definitely check out The Padre. I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informative, entertaining, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know if you're considering staying in the hotel. We're gonna take a look at the inside of one of the rooms, this one, two queen bedroom. We're also gonna take a look at a king room. We're also gonna see the common areas around the hotel and what it looks like outside the hotel. Now, as far as hotels go, the Padre Hotel is where it's at in Bakersfield. This is TripAdvisor's number one rated hotel. It's in the middle of downtown Bakersfield where all the nightlife is at. The hotel has eight stories. If you're coming here and you're valet parking, actually the hotel is valet parking, $15 right there. If you want to self-park, there is a self-parking structure right here, 18th and I. First two hours are free, every additional hour is $1. The Padre Hotel is just a two block walk from all of Bakersfield's downtown nightlife and also two blocks in the other direction to the iconic Fox Theater. As you enter into the hotel from the main valet entrance, you come into the quite grand lobby. Soaring ceilings here, and you can definitely see this hotel was remodeled. The whole hotel was remodeled in 2010. The check-in desk is right here in the back. You see a mural on the wall. You'll see more murals throughout the guest floors of the hotel. Now, if we look over here, just to the left of the check-in desk is the hotel's breakfast restaurant. It's called the Pharmacy Cafe. I'll see you there in the morning so you can see what food they've got there. Pharmacy breakfast spot, it's like a coffee shop that also serves a few breakfast items. They've got a few indoor seats and a few outdoor seats as well. For breakfast, we got their breakfast sandwich with potatoes and the French toast with strawberries. And I should point out maple syrup served in this little glass jar that was hot. The whole jar was actually hot. And then they've got the uh, lounge restaurant and bar taking up the nice corner of the ground floor. You can see big bar sports on the televisions. And then there's a staircase here and there's also two elevators. You can either take a staircase all the way up to the guest room floors, which is actually pretty nice, or you can take the fairly small elevators. In the basement, just below the bar, is the hotel's gym. It's a small gym with two treadmills, one elliptical in the corner, and kind of a weight machine right over here. So as you get up to the guest room floors, you'll see the art from the lobby is continued on the floor. The different floors actually have different pictures outside of the elevator lobby. And once you get out of the elevator lobby, you can see you could also take the staircase up here from the ground floor and you see this really interesting wallpaper. This feels like definitely another old school motif. The suites in the hotel they call head honchos. Each room has a little different picture next to its number. Bakersfield has a lot of oil, so they've got pictures of oil rigs. And then just down the end of that window, end of that hallway, you can see the red neon out there. That's the neon of the Fox Theater, which is pretty cool to see down the hallway. Now that we've seen everything around the hotel, let's check out the inside of one of the rooms. Come on in. This is room 406, a two queen bedroom on the fourth floor. First thing we see, two queen beds, yellow headboards, pink pillow right there. And then over here, there's this really interesting retro kind of feeling like lounge recliner. I love this little black and white pattern on it. Interesting lamp right next to it. Just kind of goes with the whole vintage feel of this hotel. What have we got out the window here? Let's take a look at the view. Downtown Bakersfield at night. This is what it looks like in the day. Coming back inside the room, the ceilings are really tall. They're like 14 feet tall. And actually I feel the ceilings make this room feel a lot bigger than it really is. First thing right by the window, uh, there's a refrigerator right here. There's no mini bar, um, ice bucket. There's a coffee machine, flat panel television, desk, and a really interesting pattern on this chair. I usually don't see chairs like this. I'm gonna take you into the bathroom. The sink part of the bathroom just kind of opens up from the room. There's no real door here. It just opens up in. There's one single sink. There is a big mirror right here. Um, what are the soaps? The soaps are Taroko brand soaps. And the final part of the bathroom has this barn door on it. Toilet in here and then bathtub with some of the accoutrements and then up here, just a single fixed head in uh, the shower but there's an interesting, nice little ledge, so it also makes this bathroom feel a little bit bigger than it actually is. This is room 608, a single king bedroom up on the sixth floor. I'm just gonna show you around quickly what's different in this room. One king bed, 
This room's a lot smaller than the other one, probably because the bathroom is bigger. Similar setup, only one window instead of two. But what I want to show you over here that's the most interesting part of the room is that there's a baby in the shower. It's the traveling princess. Actually, it's that the shower opens up in this big window into the room. Now there is a curtain that you can close it off if you want to. There's a sheer curtain and, and a sheer curtain. Now let me show you the bathroom from the other side. So the bathroom in this room is all behind this one door, single sink. So now coming into the shower, it's small, and then the shower opens up a little big, and then you can see the room from right in here. Now the one thing that the room is also missing is the Chase lounger that we saw in the other one. So fellow explorers, if you watch our video reviews a lot, you'll know that we often go into detail, pros and cons. We were just here for one night, pretty Dada. short time. Dada. So instead, we're just gonna end with a final assessment and conclusion, which is should you stay at this hotel? Well. I think if you're looking for the nicest hotel, the hippest hotel, the freshest hotel in Bakersfield, the place to be with the funky vibe, bit of classicness thrown in, I think this is a great place to stay. Now, if you are coming to Bakersfield, you might enjoy checking out some of the videos from our Central California series. In particular, our video on some of the best eats in the Central Valley. We got one in Bakersfield here, a really good barbecue joint that you won't want to miss. And our travel vlog with all the things we did while we were here for one day. As usual, we won't say goodbye because we're going to say hair day. Hair day. Hair day.